Hello, it's Eric Keelan in with EcoStud. Today we're going to demonstrate how fast you can put in 10 feet of wall with the EcoStud track, track and stud system. For our benefit, I'll set our timer and here we go. First thing we'll want to do is take one of our studs with a level. Take the level and bring our ceiling height down from where we're coming to make out a wall section. This may typically be done just measuring off the wall, putting our track line. In this case, with the demo, we just happen to have a flea fun free form track on the top. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So let's bring our level in, set it up, get it to level. And hopefully put a mark on the floor. Come down to the other end where our track needs to be, repeat process. Get ourselves a mark. With that done, we're going to run our chalk line. And as this is the one arm paper hanger show, we're going to use a little piece of block to help us out. Give us a nice quick line. Up the extra dust if there is any. I don't want to affect the uh, base. What we're using here, folks, is we're using our new self adhesive track system. It allows the average homeowner to put in the track without any power tools. Simply remove the double stick tape adhesive protection. And I actually forgot one step. Oops. We've got to lay out the end of where we want the top track or the bottom track to fall. So in this case, again, we're just going to mock it off the top. Give ourselves a mark. And we're good to go with putting the track. And the next thing we need to do is set up our markup on the lid, where we're simply setting up the initial initial mark where the track is actually coming out. I'll put a mark here right there. There's our groove. Put that in place. And get ourselves a markup on the top. Take our top track, one piece of stud. Come on back. Grab a handful of screws. And we use this other stud simply as a little bit of a cheater for now to hold this. It'll be a little bit long. We're going to see if we can do it without it.
check our height. Actually get a height measure. In this case, all we're going to do is measure straight to the floor, up to the top of the track. In that case, it looks to be about 94 and 3 quarter. Double check on the other end. Appears to be about 93 and a half or a quarter inch off. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut about four studs at, we're going to call it 93 and a half on the far right side. We'll put those ones in place and then we'll come back with the other ones. Double check them because I can never remember numbers. Tool up to get those in. One of the nice things about Eco Stud is they stack up and you can cut four studs at a crack. Get your studs lined up, box it out like that. Bring them to your favorite chop saw. In this case, we're using, I believe it's an 80 tooth blade. Been around for eight years or so, pretty well. Worn in. The key to making Eco Studs work with a chop saw, just don't go in too hot. Go in nice and easy and it'll be fine for you. You want to make sure that you keep your centers the forefoot, keep them always on the same side. And all we're going to do is put the first one in the track, snap it into place, and like there. Grab our second stud. We want to be on 16 inch center, so we're simply going to skip one slot. Come on in, turn it a little bit sideways. Put our second stud in. Double check our numbers because I can never keep my head on straight. And if you look, if you can see up at the top, which I doubt, you're going to have to take my word on it. We're looking at 93 and a half, so we're going to cut those a little bit less than 93 and a half. But typically we'll go a quarter inch less, so we're going to go 93 and, uh, 93 and I'm going to give a little more than a quarter. And again, I'm going to say that they're close enough, so I'm going to cut all four of them at one shot. We've got a stabilizer bar in the middle. If you take a look at it, we've got slots that were eight inches. If you take a look at this, these studs by themselves can be a little whippy, so what we're going to do is just stiffen them up a bit. Set it there where you know it's going to lay out about right. And we're just going to go ahead and snap this right in the middle. It doesn't want to go with a quick snap, we're just going to run it on the top saw. This is just to demonstrate if you were in the middle of the wall and you had to get going that you can bring it in. It curves pretty easily. And I guess I start a little bit far over. And we just rotate and clip it into place. You got the notches every eight there. And over here we're just going to swing in from the end. We've got the bell housing there, so we're going to have to cheat a little bit here, folks. And we're going to snap this one, spin it up, bring it to the middle. 
again, tie that wall in by rotating it down. I take a look at the inside. We just butt that together, stiffens the wall right up, and we're done. Little back, pick up my handy timer. Not bad for 10 minutes worth of works, is it? Thank you.